You need one or two weights. Two is optimal. Heavy is what I'm looking for. The 15s, the 20s, the 30s. Girl, blow me up. Maybe even do the 40s. Just grab something that feels scary just a little bit scary okay <laughs> the cool thing about this class is we're doing both legs and single leg movements so you get a little bit of everything are you ready to party grab each of your weights and each of your hands i'm using kettlebells i absolutely love these bad boys now the way you pick them up is wildly important notice that was basically doing a squat right i'm not using my back we're just using our legs <laughs> that's the point of this class after all yes we get to start doing deadlifts let's show you how to do it as you do it with me so you're looking at me and we're doing it together weights are in our hands right first we shoulder roll the shoulders back like you're squeezing a piece of fruit in your armpit then i want you to reach 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 your booty back to the back wall slight bend in the knees notice i'm tracing the front of my shins the front outside of my shins with the kettlebells and then quickly come up quickly as feels comfortable okay don't don't arch the back so again slowly lower we're doing about 10 reps together and come up quicker so you're kind of exploding at the bottom as they say re-roll the shoulders back every single time slowly tracing the front of the shins stamp your butt cheeks back maybe pause at the bottom and then explode up now the second you feel your back start to do this, oh, and the shoulders are going, I want you to stay here. You do not need to go as low as I do. Your deadlift could look like this. You're going halfway down. Every body has a different range of motion. <laughs> Honor yours today. We're working strength with good form over everything. Good, just a few more for three. Yes, use the breath for two. Reach, reach, reach the butt back. Last one, again, reaching the butt back and then slightly bending the knees to get it more in the glutes and all the way up. Good, pause for a cause. Set the weights down with that tall spine. Take a breath, walk around, catch your breath. The reason we take breaths and breaks in between rounds is to let the legs come back to normal, right? We wanna give them a little space to recover in between reps. So it stays in the strength category and not the cardio category, even though we love her too for different reasons. <laughs> so walk around. If you wanna just keep the movement going, you can do some push-ups if you're dying to get some upper body in. Fun fact, when I'm at the gym and I'm doing lower body, I always sneak in handstands. It's like the best time, because I'm like, oh, I can work the upper body, make it slightly full body, but whatever works for you. Let's do it again. Same, same, but different. Everything's three rounds. Let's go. Okay, hands on the weights. Notice your back is so straight, your shoulders are back, the knees are what's bent. Unbend the knees to bring your weights up. Walk to the middle of your mat. Begin, slide down the front or outside of the shins and snap up. It's like a bend and snap, honey, make it cute. Stick that booty back, slight bend of the knees, keep the knees wide the whole time. Yes, there she is. Smile the face. I love weightlifting. Cannot love it more. Like it just, yeah, it's the best thing. I'm absolutely in love. I probably can love it more. That was totally a lie. I fall more in love every day because your musculature is also part of your endocrine system. You can be happier, less depressed, less anxious when you move your muscles. That's one reason. Another reason while we move is it makes your bones more dense, putting strain on the bones via the muscle makes your bone density better. Ladies, we're gonna go through menopause eventually. Let's get strong bones. Not to mention, we get to sculpt our booties, which is like, honestly, the best thing ever. Okay, just three more with me. Stamp the booty back. Trace the front of the shins all the way up. Last two. Uh-huh, hover at the bottom. And one. Slow, slow, slow. Come on, baby, all the way up. Slowly set the weights down, bend the knees, keep the spine upright. Nice job. I saw that set down, even better. That's good, catch the breath. Big bodacious rounds of breath, like breathe it in and let it all go. The breath controls the heart rate, trying to get the heart rate kind of down, but more so just trying to get the booty to relax. So you can do some stretches if you want, you can forward fold, whatever you're into. Girls got options, boys got options. Cute. You almost ready? 
Are you almost ready to party? <laughs> we have one more round of this. Just so you know, my whoop does match my outfit, which is planned, but also I'm gonna upload the results of what this is doing for me strain-wise and activity-wise information and data. I love it. I'm such a nerd about these things. If you want it, let me know. I'm gonna post it anyway, so just let me know. <laughs> okay, another cycle. I like distracting you while we work out. I hope you do too, or else you're probably gonna find me to be extraordinarily annoying. But I love a good distraction. So you ready, ladies? Let's bend and snap. Deadlift with me. Slightly bend the knees as you reach the booty back. Come all the way up. Roll the shoulders back. First, we bend over, hinging at the hips. Then we bend the knees. And then we snap up. First, we bend over, hinge at those hips. Yes, you look good. Bend the knees a little more. Hover at the bottom and snap up. Yes, stay with me. A few rounds, and that's it. Yes, it's all temporary, a little temporary torture for a whole lot of benefits, both for the body and the mind. How remarkable is that? Yes, feel the shake. If you need to drop one weight, one weight, do that. I just want you to keep going. Last one, make it count slow. Stamp the booty to the back wall. Yes, and then reach all the way up. Cute, set the weights down. Breathe, we're gonna do something different now. Okay, this next move is more of a squatting position, but I want your feet wider than hip width distance, so your heels are what's wider, yeah? Toes slightly out, heels slightly in, and you can kind of workshop this with me without the weights. As we go down, act like someone is hooking their fingers on the inside of your knees, widening them on the way down and the way up, so you are resisting an imaginary band the whole time, yes? Let's try her on, take two more rounds of breath. And then we're gonna pick up our weights. I don't have music on here, but I do have music on Spotify. Sculpt playlists, all the playlists, or you can play your own, whatever you're into. But hopefully you're listening to some good tunes. <laughs> Makes it easier. Are you ready? Bend over, look cute, bend the knees, grab the weights, lift up, straightening the legs, yes. So you're taking your feet, outside of your hips, toes out, heels in. So for me, that's wider than the mat distance. My heels are on the mat though. Yes, notice my weights are now on the inside. <laughs> Aha, my thighs. Roll your shoulders back, broadening across the chest. Slowly tap the weights down in between your heels and lift all the way up. Make sure the knees are widening the whole time. Now, I know I said to tap them down, but I never want you to stop with the tension. I don't want you to relax the weights down. <sighs> Reach the booty back and then sit all the way up. So this isn't like a deadlift, right? Think about your spine being upright <sighs> the whole way down. Finding a nice juicy squat. Glorious. Good for four. Spring up. <sighs> Slow on the way down. Knees wide, knees wide, knees wide. All the way up. Ha! Yes. Last two. All the way down. Squeeze that booty, girl, yeah. Last one, make her count. Think about the booty. Mind booty connection all the way up. That's nice. Set the weights down. Woo! Catch your glorious breath. Now, if you got New Year's resolutions, which I know people have mixed feelings about, that's totally fine. My one this year was to have as much boo booby belly button and crotch sweat as possible. Crazy, right? Like you wear these light colors and you're like, oh God, I don't want to sweat. I am on a campaign to make sweating sexy, okay? Like to show off your hard work. Yes, I'm starting to sweat. I already have the boob sweat going. Let's see if we can get the crotch and the belly button. Let's normalize sweating. It's sexy, it's good for you. <laughs> Let's get it going. Another round for the boys and the girls. Bend over, make it cute. Hook your fingers around the waist. Roll the shoulders back, bend the knees, and come up by straightening the legs. Healthy back. Again, swing the weights in front of you. Roll your shoulders back. Tits out for the boys and the girls. Just kidding, obviously. <laughs> and now, to with the toes out and the heels slightly in, squat. Look at your own knees. Make sure they're widening on the way down and the way up. Yes, <laughs> slowly lower. Woo! The weights almost kiss the earth, and you drive all the way back up. It's a squat, so you're, try you're trying to keep your spine upright, yes? It doesn't have to be perfect. 
I just don't want you to feel it in your lower back. Now, if you start to feel it in your lower back, all good. Just don't go all the way as far down and really, really think about engaging your core. Good. For three. Ha! All the way up for two. Yes. Last one. Slowly lower. And all the way left. Cute. Set the weights down. Numero dos. We have one more, honey. We'll get into some single leg stuff and then we're finished. But I'm just going to say it now so I don't have to say it at the end. You can take this class again. Yeah. Meaning the second I'm like, namaste, Tani Janae, repeat it back and really, really look at your results. Look at your heart rate. Look how good you sleep. How amazing you feel. This is meant to be repeated. Every class is really, but it's a solid workout on its own. But I love offering an even bigger challenge. And maybe you're like, girl, you're crazy. Never. But maybe if you take this class once a week, you'll find in a month or two, you can do it two in a row. Options. <laughs> okay. Find your weights. I know that you know exactly where they are. <sighs> Roll the shoulders back. Grab your weights. <sighs> Straighten your legs. Uh-huh. Last one, Hanny. Weights in front of you. Shoulders back. Proud chest. Smile on the face. Start to slowly lower. Tap the weights around the heel region and squeeze all the way up. Yes, just like that. Slowly lower. <sighs> Lift and squeeze. <sighs> slowly lower. <sighs> Lift and squeeze. Keep going. I'm showing you the side view. In weight lifting, there's kind of a rule of thumb. <sighs> if you're trying to grow a region, you got have to do between 10 and 20 effective sets. That's a lot per week, right? <sighs> What's an effective set? It's where you're like, holy shit, I can't do any more. And you do two more. You get to actual failure. <sighs> so if you want to tone, just keep it cute within the 10 to 15 rep range, not at failure. If you want to grow, find failure. Pick up heavier weights or increase the reps. Good. Last two. <sighs> and one. <laughs> Make it count. Nice, set the weights down. Now, we're in for some real beautiful single leg work because we've already torched the legs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now we're using, for me, 30 pounds on one leg, which is amazing. Super out of breath, I freaking love it. We're letting our, our breath calm a little. What's up next, I'll show you without the weight. And then we'll do it together. Okay. We start on our left leg just because I think habitually we start on the right and it's nice to go the other way. You have the weight in your left hand if you're doing your left leg. Yeah, that makes sense. Corresponding leg and arm. Hand on the hip. You're going to step back and do a lunge and come all the way up. Now, why would I stress the importance of keeping your knee over your heel? Not for safety, this isn't yoga. This is to keep it in the booty, uh-huh, and lessen the quad. You could totally step back and have the knee over the toe, totally fine, but that's more quad dominant. You could also have your chest more upright, also more quad dominant. I want you to reach back with the hips and shoot all the way up as you lean forward to get it in the booty. Ready to party? You like it? Let's try it on, okay. <laughs> so left side, Mio. pick up the, the weight in your left hand. Roll your shoulders back. Proud chest, right hand on your hip. Step back, lunge all the way down, and then shoot up driving through the heel. Now, if you're like, woman, this is hard enough with heavy weight, I'm just gonna stay here, lower, bend the booty back, and come up halfway, that's awesome. But I want you to test your balance. And by doing that, lower slowly, explode up you're gonna recruit more muscles during your time here on the mat. Good. For four. Yes. For three. We stay booty back. Spring up, last two. Uh-huh. And one, hold, pause for a cause, just for three pulses. For two pulses, one, drive all the way up. Yum, yay. We go both ways. We did the right, we're gonna do the left. I have some belly button sweat working. I don't know if you'll see the, cr the, the crotch sweat because aloe makes such good heathered products, which hides sweat, but 
like you already know, I'm not into hiding my sweat, not into hiding my effort, but we can go on the right leg a little quicker since the right leg hasn't done anything in a minute. It's okay to still be out of breath. Like I said, I'm in a woman's plane. Try it on without the weight. Step back really far. Reach the booty back really far. Hinge forward. You're not arching forward. Hinging forward. Come all the way up. This is the motion. And if you're like, that is reckless endangerment, I'm going to stay here because I have a heavy weight. Those are your options. <laughs> Ready to party. Let's go. Pick up the weight with the right hand. Roll the shoulder back. Left hand on your hip or balancing out to the side. We step back lower. <sighs> Inhale, lift, drive. Lower slow, snap up, hinging forward from the hips, form over everything, babe. I'd rather see you go less low Hi. than compromise your form. Can you roll the shoulder back a little more? Uh-huh, smile the face. I am so proud of you. Stay with me for four. Yeah, for three. Yes, last two. Ooh. Don't you dare quit on yourself, baby. You are so strong. Last one. All the way up. Set the weight down. Have a bead of sweat on my forehead. <laughs> it's so good. And if you think this doesn't help your yoga practice, you're insane. With these single-legged um, balancing, <laughs> working out, it's going to help your half moons, your degossans, your standing splits. It all correlates. It all goes, goes together. They're a great marriage. Okay, left side. Are you ready? Pick up the weight. I have to face this way so I can see you guys. Actually, no, I don't. Are you ready to party? Roll the shoulder back. Step back with the right toes. Lunge, hinging forward, and come all the way up. Slowly lower. Come all the way up. Yes, slowly lower. And all the way up. How low can you go and maybe hover, pause before coming up? Good, four. Yes. <laughs> For three. We squeeze that left cheek. That's two. And one. Hold, pause. Three, two, one, and done. Lower the weight. Meow. Straight into the other side, take a breath in between, you know, don't pass out. <laughs> Everything I say is a suggestion, not a command. So if you need to pause me for a cause, I totally get it. I'd pause me too if I could. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, yes, you are. Okay, roll the right shoulder back in space. Hug the waistline with the left hand. Step back with the right toes, slowly lower. Lift all the way up. Slowly lower. Mm -hmm. Lift all the way up. Little low, little high. Slow it down, ladies. Stick the booty back and then spring up. Make the mind-booty connection. Think about your booty doing the work. For four, yes. For three, squeeze. Last two, take it slow. Mm -hmm. And one pause for a cause. For three, for two. And done. Now, step three cycles of everything. That's four, it's two per side, but I wanna do a movement on both legs to end. This is the last thing. You ready to party? <laughs> so remember when we did the wide heels, right? Toes out, and I said to make it more of a squat. Woo, more of a squat, chest up. I want you to take that same idea of the stance and the feet perhaps a heel toe a little wider, and think of it as a deadlift. Same, same, but different. It's a wide-legged deadlift, so we're marrying the first and the second moves. I know you want to. It's so good. Okay. Notice how I just grabbed for my weights with the back arched. Not a good habit. We want to get a tall spine, then grab the weights, and straighten the legs. Healthy backs. Okay, so I'm going to show you the front-facing side. Weights are in between my thighs. Meow. Toes. Or slightly out, heels slightly in. I want you to bend the booty back, hinging at the hips, slightly bend the knees, keeping the knees super wide, and then come up. You really get to think about the knees going wide the whole time. 
Yes. Send the booty back as far as you can and then squeeze and lift. This is your last round, last cycle. It's the last thing we're doing together. Squeeze and lift. Yes. So stay with me. Slowly lower. Lift and squeeze. Now we get to slowly lower. Pulse at the bottom for three, for two, for one. Come all the way up again. Lower down, booty back, knees wide. Pulse for three, use the butt to do the pulses. And one, all the way up, last one. Slowly lower, booty back, knees wide. Pulse for three, for two, and done. Set the weights aside. <sighs> Pat yourself on the butt. You earned it, I am so proud of you. That is no joke. I hope you continue to take this class. I hope you continue to increase the weight and play and see what this body is capable of in our lifetime. It's pretty remarkable. <laughs> Show off your sweat. Oh my God, it's coming all the way up to my chin. This is amazing. <laughs> Look, let's go. Okay, enough about me. If you wanna subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. Just saying, it helps me help you. Two, comment, tell me where you're from. I wanna know about you. I get a lot of class requests and I listen. I'm here to listen and read. I got you, girl. But wherever you are, I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste. Tani Janae. <laughs>